Hi Cancer Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Cancer. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a three card spread of Love, Money, and You and then clarifying those three cards. I have already pre-shuffled the deck, so we'll go ahead and begin. I'm also going to do a moon card reading at the very end here, too. Okay, let's get your first card for love for Cancer Moon. First card for love for Cancer Moon. Um, I'm not going to take reversals for this reading either, so let's go ahead and see what we have before I turn the cards over. just wanted to mention that. Alright, so we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Moon, and we have the Knight of Wands. Ace of Cups is a new start in love. Receiving a lot of love, with this being in the love section, this is love on top of love, cup overflowing, a new start in love that has nothing to do with the past, this is your energy, and then also Scorpio, Pisces, and a Fugus. With the moon. What I'm getting here is that you've been working very hard on yourself, your self-worth and your self-value, creating and manifesting that Ace of Cup there. The twilight energy, the nighttime energy, being connected to water energy with that being a card of Pisces, that moon card, and with this being a moon reading, that's totally what I'm getting there. successfully manifesting your love and it could have been at night time or I'm getting dream state here too with your manifestations and putting great action towards this to achieve this here I'll leave those like that there I'm going to scoot that selenite over just a little bit Getting, um, daybreak is coming through here. The sun is about to rise, so we may not need this light. Let's get your money card for Cancer Moon. All right, we have the Ten of Wands, the Emperor, and the King of Cups. What I get here is that two people in your life, a king of cup and an emperor, have been a burden. Connected to money, for a lot of you, especially you divine feminines um, who have uh, magnetized towards this channel, we're all representative of being connected to kings and emperors who um, have great status, who have great wealth. This being a part of the soul flame connection and contract. So I do get that being connected here with these two energies. And it just coming to light about what's been taking place here for you. Having a lot on your plate. I feel that this is about working the energy from within you here though. Um, this strongly is your energy here with this king of cup. With the emperor there's straight boss energy here. But I do see two people. And I just feel that this is about some exposure of an ending. And why there's an ending is because two energies have been very burdensome. 
putting a lot on your back and that not being fair. Now, I did get one of your titles. I got a couple of titles coming through for you before I began this reading. And one of them that um, stuck out the most was fairness. So this possibly, with this being in the money section, possibly being why it is that you're creating new here, connected to love, because your love is also connected to your money. And what you've had here has been quite burdensome here. And there is an ending coming into a new beginning. The Emperor is a card of four connected to stability. So we have all your representation here with the water energy, the four energy, and then even the 10 energy with Capricorn and that being your polarity energy here. So I do get a sense of strong transformation, learning from two past experiences and allowing this to flow from within you to empower you, to help you to come into greater love for yourself, to also help you come into greater status for yourself and independence less codependency because what you've experienced here with what I picked up with these two energies again has been a burden this being about the end going into a new beginning with that 10 breaking down to a one let's get your you card for cancer moon see how that flipped and then turned back over we're gonna see what that is first <laughs> We have the uh, Three of Wands. So I see this is manifesting. Your ship's coming in. There being playfulness. Whatever is connected to your ships uh, could be connected to children. Take what resonates for that. With the Empress energy, this could be about that birthing energy of something new, being a great creator. And just manifesting all new for yourself and having fun with it. Being surrounded by joyful and lighthearted energies. This is also more action here. With this three energy here and then that knight of wand energy here, I get four of wand energy. That being more of your energy of stability and security. But the four of wand also stands for union. You have that beautiful friendship energy here of two people, two kids here getting along. Playing and having fun. Being creative. And expanding. This is also collaboration. Being great at what you do. I'm getting three of pentacles here too. Wands is fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and Afucas. So what we have here is the four of cups. And this could be separate energy. I'm going to just... And this is more four energy here. So it could be possible that it's connected to this energy here. Four of cups. Here I'm getting is um, not taking an opportunity. Someone being very much in their feelings. Focused on their past. Very much um, maybe going through a healing phase. With the Four of Swords also being present. Coming out of a Three of Swords. Third party situation. And then this is more of your energy of uh, Cups. And then um, Scorpio, Pisces, and a few kids. We have the devil. This being a card of 15. This is the Capricorn energy. I'm getting connected to the 10. Toxic. So with that energy connected to what I'm getting here, and then the four energy I was picking up possibly being connected to this person, this card may apply to this person here. This overall 10 energy, Capricorn energy, this being a card of Capricorn, Capricorn here, the toxicity of being connected to soulmate partnerships that were very toxic. Possibly turned toxic. It may have started off a certain way and just went south is what I'm hearing. So someone may be in um, regrets here. Typically you would get that with the Five of Cups, but I am getting that here about not taking an opportunity. Yeah, Six of Swords. And this is water energy, but, and I say that this is swords, but I'm seeing all this water being connected to the ocean energy that's here in this King of Cups. And the nakedness here, the mirroring energy. 
So this could have been a very um, strong sexual connection here. You're moving away from this, possibly because of the toxicity connected to that. Or it was about more... Um, I'm getting, it, with the cup energy, there was the impression that it was meant for love, but it was more of a sexual energy. This is about moving away from choppy waters towards more calm waters. You possibly being the addiction or uh, obsession. These two energies could have possibly been obsessed. That being lower vibrational toxic energy here too. I do feel that they may have wanted to paint you a certain way. With this 10 energy being connected to the Capricorn energy. And this being part of the burden energy that's in that 10 of wands. Wanting to have you in the middle of a situation. I could even see this too. Like I do see this also as this person here almost being like Peter Pan having trouble growing up being stuck in the past pretending to be someone that they're not giving the impression that they're moving away from what does not serve but I notice that this energy here is faced towards the past energy they're not moving forward they're moving towards their past so a liar someone who pretends very much in their emotions here too with all this water. Six energy is um, connected to unconditional love. Virgo energy, soul hermit energy, possibly connected with the veil energy that's here. And that's what I'm picking up. Um, someone may have tried to conceal, but can see their bare ass. So not hiding much there. So it's all coming to the surface here too. But I do feel some... People here tried to have you in the middle of something, stuck in the middle of something. This also being a part of the devil energy here. And so that's why I'm getting this being a separate energy with that 10 ending and this Capricorn energy being here. This has been put to an end and you're creating and manifesting new. Transmuting the energy of what's been painted towards you and creating your own and manifesting your own and I did get that here putting great action towards that and you have fire here too with those wands there as well all right let's see what's on the bottom we have the will of fortune now that was in reverse with those cards that wanted to come through in that devil energy that's a stuck energy of these two people wanting you to be stuck in a situation. Spirit guiding me to not do reversals. This is just speaking to things now turning in your favor. The wheel spinning and being in your favor. After having dealt with some toxicity, the Sphinx energy could be significant here for you. I do feel it's about you moving more into your destiny. We do have more 10 energy of your polarity energy of Capricorn and that shadow work. With the completion of shadow work, things now coming to the surface, truth being seen and um, able to be worked on so that it can now be moved away from. And we have that here and here and here and here. Endings again, you have a lot of tens speaking to something really being over. And this wanted to be seen. Five of Wands reversed. No longer having to be a part of um, any kind of fighting or competition. Contract being over. Five energy connected to the here font. There being disloyalty. Lack of commitment. I was trying to figure out where to place this. Um, we'll just leave it over here. We know what it is. Let's get your clarifiers and we'll clarify your love section for Cancer Moon. Clarify the Ace of Cups, the Moon card, and the Knight of Rods, Wands. 
Clarify the Moon card, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. You have the Ten of Wands again. More speaking to the end of burdens. A lot on your plate. Judgment energy here too. For whatever has happened that has brought all this burden here for you. New start in love. And so with this Ten of Wands being here and now you have it here. The connection with both love and money is coming through here. What's well, been a burden for you connected to these two energies here? You're now getting a new start, creating a new start, putting fire and action towards a new start. And I just feel that you're doing this in a way that is um, you minding your business and taking care of your business. That's more fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a few gifts. Clarify the money section. Clarify the King of Cups, the Emperor, and the Ten of Wands. Eight of Cups. More endings and the energy of walking away from what does not serve you emotionally. I'm going to reposition myself here. And this is your energy. And then also Scorpio, Pisces, and a Fucus. Leaving what is not emotionally fulfilling because it's burdensome as fuck. You have two Ten of Wands here. Let's clarify your you section. This is karma energy here too. In the walking away, you're no longer giving your precious love, time, dedication, gift, talent, magnificent aura, creativeness to any of these energies here that place these burdens on you here. Clarify the you section. I'm going to take those two. These came out separate again. We'll see what applies. I almost feel like it's the same instance. Like this is going to apply to the Three of Wands and this will apply to that toxic ass story behind it. We'll leave that there. And let's leave this here because we'll check out the bottom. <sighs> okay. We got, we got the Six of Swords, Six of Wands, and the Strength card. You being strong. Having victory and success over this, just as I said, Eight of Cups confirming why we're doing the uprights and not the reversals. I do feel there was manipulation. This is more hermit energy, Virgo energy. You have two sixes here of unconditional love. So this could definitely be about the importance of you and getting back to you and your stability and security. Manifesting this, realizing what it is that you were dealing with. This is not stability or security. So this is empowering you and helping you to do the best, to do what's best for yourself. This is a card of 11 with Aquarius star card energy. So in you taming the beast, being strong, overcoming that toxic devil energy, even the six is here. Uh, that devil energy is a 15 that comes together to create a six. So I do see this as you having success over the devil energy. Moving away from what does not serve. You have the Six of Swords here twice. Excuse me. I If you hear my stomach, I have not eaten yet. I have to eat breakfast. But here's that Six of Swords here. I feel this is about the true Six of Swords that I was picking up for you. Or this is about someone who lies about moving away from something and then they go right the fuck back. 
you moving away from this altogether. This is the indecisiveness energy from that Six of Swords there. Healing from that. Overall, moving away from what does not serve you. And being a great victorious one. Sixes are also about equality, fairness, balance, justice. With the Six of Pentacles energy and the Six of Cup energy. Having dealt with um, possibly past life karmics. Utilizing your High Priestess energy here too. This 11 is a 1 and a 1. That also creates a 2. Going back to Taurus energy, which is that Hierophant energy here too. And the Contract energy. So I get this for this being that energy and what it is that you're manifesting. And the 3 energy representing the 3 here. Let's see what's under here. Where I do feel it's going to apply to the shit here. Alright, we have the Ace of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Chariot. So those new starts that you were to have with two different people here. Ace of Cup and Love, Four of Pentacles there was withholding. Between the two and then Ace of Wand here. And I just feel this being a part of some trickery because it's actually going to go like this here for the King of Cup. The withholding energy of the Emperor being here. And then the Ace of Cup connected to that Emperor. And what you dealt with overall. This is the Emperor and the uh, Minor Arcana. So what I get is that you dealt with two different energies here where you had an Ace of Wands with one being the King of Cup and an Ace of Cup with the Emperor. Having both of these as a part of new starts that were designed for you as a part of your wishes and your dreams. But dealing with energies that were stuck and withholding Eight of Swords that wanted to keep you stuck. You having success and victory over this with the chariot. Main, gain, gaining your balance back here too with that seven energy. Your beauty may have been connected to this here too in some kind of way. Take what resonates for that. With that seven energy, I do get Venus energy with Venus being the ruler of Libra. It's also the ruler of Taurus and I get that strongly here with the five from the Hierophant and then the two energy I picked up. Second house energy of Taurus here. Magnificent beauty is also what I'm getting. Now this is your card here too. So this is strong representation of you. Again, having great success. You had two cards of success. Speaking to what it is that you've overcome. Which is this. The Eight of Swords being connected to Broken Promises. Lower vibrational energy, toxic energy. Goodness. All right. Let's get all these up here and then we'll get your... We'll take a look at the bottom and then we'll get your final card here. This is awesome. And I feel you're enjoying this here too. This is great. We'll leave this here with that six of one there. See what's on the bottom. The arrows of love. That's it. You've got new love coming in. Connected to money. Because of what you've dealt with. With two individuals. And being over. You walking away. You're now getting the communication and the love. And the money. The stability. I should say. Because it's not just about money. Stability and security that you rightfully deserve. I see two fours coming together to create the eight and the importance of that. So it could be a true king of cup that's coming through for you. Take what resonates. It, it could be queen of cup energy as well. Whether you're male or female. But there's a strong water energy that's coming through. That you've manifested successfully. As a new start in love. And this also being a part of some karma here too. 
great prosperity with the eight energies. And this just being a part of your destiny. So enjoy. This is great. Good for you, Cancer Moons. It's it's long overdue. I feel you've been manipulated and messed with. Your heart played with unfairly. And now everything's coming full circle and karma's being dealt accordingly. Let's get your final card. I'm going to take that. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. Your south node may be significant. Um, if you don't know it, I do encourage you to look into your birth chart and um, take a look at that information. See, oh my gosh, get me a biscuit. See what it is that you can find uh, related to that. And then take that and utilize that in uh, the best way for you as you continue to move forward into newness for yourself. This is on page 114. I'll take a biscuit and some jam and some butter. Please and thanks. <laughs> okay. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. The south node, like the north node, is a karmic point, but it's opposite to the north node and relates to the past perhaps even to past lives. You did have that with the Six of Cup energy that did come through. It's not present, but with those sixes, we did get that. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that age-old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. Do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that someone, you even, needs to be released, that there's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are feels easier and safer. Attuned to the moon by affirming, I release the past. Let's say that two more times. I release the past. I release the past. That might be the title. I like that. Additional meanings for this card. A relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes. Your attraction to someone may be verging on the obsessive. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. The teaching. The south node is where the moon crosses the ecliptic going south. On the horoscope chart, it shows us what we are likely to become obsessed with but which will probably do us little or no good. The South Node is the karmic astrological point that reminds us of the well-known phrase, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And that's the end. All right, Cancer Moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching here for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.